Hey guys, replacing the air filter on a turbocharged engine is very important since a lot of air will pass through that filter and many people will overlook this process because, you know, these days we are so busy we don't have time even to eat properly. So today I'm going to show you how to remove the air filter and the air filter box, the air filter housing. If you have a look on the side of the air filter housing, you can see the mass airflow sensor with the plier try to grab this red pin and pull it upwards like that now you're going to be able to press on this tab and release the connector now this mass airflow sensor can be quite sensitive and in order to prevent damaging it by dropping it or expose it to some physical shocks i'm going to remove it from the air filter housing you've got two eight millimeter screws And the mass airflow sensor with the assembly will come out. If you have a look on the side, you're going to find this rubber strap, which you can just release it like that. And from this point, you're going to be able to wiggle the air filter housing and release it from those rubber pins. Here it comes. So you got to release this pin from these rubber housings. You've got one here, one here and one down here now with a flathead screwdriver you should be able to pry out the top all right so here it comes now remove the air filter that dirt must be removed from there because once you put the new filter on that dirt will go on the new filter and it will basically lower the lifetime of that filter and you don't want that so next step is to clean up very well this air filter housing after you clean up the housing you can install the new filter on you'll find here a sign which shows the direction so just place it like that let's screw in the cover so make sure that you match these threads around the cover Alright guys, that was pretty much it. Thanks for watching. If you want to see more videos about this Ford Focus with 1 liter EcoBoost engine, there is going to be a link in the description below with all the videos I made about it. Also, if you want to stay tuned to see more car repair videos, hit that subscribe button. And until next time, drive safe so I can see you soon.